Good afternoon and welcome to the 2024 Ford Erie Award Ceremony presented by the HBPA of Ontario. These awards recognize excellence in our sport and recognize the hard work put in, in the barns, sun up to sundown each and every day. And it takes a team to get these horses to the races. And speaking of teamwork here, um, when it all comes together in the afternoons, the reward is simply priceless. We'll dive right into the awards here without further ado. And we'll kick it off here with the male claimer of the year. That award goes to Amazing Success, who we will take a look at a short video of his performance. And Amazing Success rallying down the far outside. Mobilizer still with the lead, but Amazing Success is coming. It's Amazing Success. Amazing Success and Mark Lee Buchanan rally to win by a length. Amazing Success is a three-year-old bay gelding by Amazing Destiny out of Sunbonnet. Bred in Arkansas by Starfish Stable, LLC. Ridden to victory today by Mark Lee Buchanan. Amazing success is trained by Eric Raganoff for Bruno Schickadans. Amazing success owned by Bruno Schickadans, trained by Eric Raganoff, went on to record four victories at Fort Erie this year, three in a row, and three of those five were in Eric's barn. Eric is here to get the award here for amazing success. He started his career just in February of this year down at Oaklawn Park. He's an Arkansas bred, but he certainly took the, to the dirt here at Fort Erie. You got your trophy too. Eric, I want to talk to you a little bit about Amazing Success. You only had him in your barn for five starts, but he really got rolling late here in the meet. Yeah, he's a nice horse. He he loves the dirt. Um, that's what Norm sent him down for. Uh, and he just relished here in the dirt course. And he's just a joy to have in the barn. And for you, your barn got off to a start that was good. But the last couple of months here, the last two have really turned around. You've really been on a hot streak. How's that feel to be back here and get in the winter, winter circle so often? Uh, it's tough to be consistent. Um, anybody can tell you that, but uh, just races were going and just trying to keep it consistent. Uh, that's all. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'd also like to thank uh, Mr. Chicken Dancer for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to assemble a barn here. I'd also like to thank my barn help, um, Willa Neufeld and Simon, and Natalie Frost and Matthew Dennis, who got on this horse every morning. So thank you. All right, our next category is for Leading Apprentice. This year, the win goes to Alexis Sanchez, who just last year took out his jocks license. And with two days left here in the 2024 season, Alexis already has 24 wins from 162 mounts. And kind of looking at some of the big names that he rode, one of those horses being Seeds of Grandeur, who ended up winning three races here on the turf course in a row. I'm going to give you a trophy. First off, Alexis, congratulations. You just started riding last year, but this year it's really come together, and now you get your title here for Leading Apprentice. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, I really want to, you know, take a couple of minutes to, to say thank you, <clears throat> especially to all the trainers and owners who are being really supportive with me along the year. You know, it's it's been a really good season for me. Um, I really can't complain. Um, they've been helping me a lot to keep growing and keep um, improving, not just to myself, but also to to the people who believe in me and give me an opportunity of riding this this amazing horses. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next category is for female sprinter. And we'll take a look at the winner of this one, Mountain Sound. But Mountain Sound is three lengths clear. It's Mountain Sound going best of all in the Horse People's Luminary Cup. Mountain Sound, four for four at Fort Erie. Mountain Sound by four. Mountain Sound is a four-year-old Bay Philly by Super Speedy out of Yoli, bred here in Ontario by Frank DiGiulio Jr. Ridden to victory today by Edgar Zenteno, Mountain Sound is trained by John Sims, who owns in partnership with Denise Carpenter. Mountain Sound claimed for $5,000 at Woodbine last December and is now a perfect four for four here at Fort Erie. Mm. 
Mountain Sound, a four-year-old daughter, an Ontario bred daughter of the late Super Speedy, was able to rattle off four consecutive victories here from five starts this season, one of which was a four and three-quarter length victory in the Horse People's Luminary Cup. She is owned in partnership with Denise Carpenter and her trainer, John Sins. And Denise, you're here today, and we talked after the Horse People's Luminary Cup, and I know it was a pretty emotional win for you, but now she gets this title. I feel like this is like the next step, a very exciting moment. Unfortunately, Denise has laryngitis. She asked me to say, <laughs> yes, she was very excited. She said uh, they should have named the horse Mountain No Sound because she can't speak. But we'd like to say good things happen. First, when you get a, a beautiful horse like Mountain Sound, you have a good trainer, good grooms, and you get a good jockey, and most important, you get a race. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. She was a very affordable claim last year for $5,000 and certainly was a main contender here and a big foe here for all of her rivals. Our next horse that we'll get into next is for Male Sprinter of the Year, and this award this year goes to Victory March. But Victory March getting stronger as the race gets longer. Victory March is in a league of his own. He's going to win the Lysinki MSA Cup by six lengths at the end. Victory March is a six-year-old chestnut gelding by McLean's Music out of Victory on Top. Bred in Kentucky by Judy Hicks. Ridden to Victory today by Edgar Zenteno. Victory March is trained by John Sims for Tony Gato. Second win of the season for Victory March, his sixth career victory. He won the long run thoroughbred retirement stakes on Father's Day and he comes back to Fort Erie with a dominant score in the Lysinki MSA Cup. Well, if we rewind to 2023, Victory March had three wins this year. He was able to win two races, but both of them were stakes races, those cup races, as we heard the Lysinki of a dominant performance. And prior to that, the long run at Thoroughbred Retirement Stakes. He is trained by John Sims, and his owner, Tony Gato, is here to accept his award. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? All right. First off, congratulations again. Victory March had a sensational year, but I know it was a special day for you on Prince of Wales Day when he's able to get that win. How fun has it been having him in the barn? It's always great when you win and you get a horse like him. And uh, it's been a great year. I wish we had more than three starts. But uh, considering that he won the two cup races and uh, a lot of fun, and uh, I hope it continues. Congratulations. <laughs> Can I just say a couple of things? Of course. Yeah, I just want to say, uh, I want to thank John Sims, naturally, and uh, Donna, Mike, Dave, Tony, and uh, the wonderful staff that he has. And um, they do a great, great job. And uh, I think it's just wonderful that he's able to show his wares, John Sims, this year. And I want to give a shout out to Bruno Chicken Dance because he has supported Fort Erie for so long. I really respect him. I wish there was more people like him because he loves the game. He loves the horses. He puts his money where his mouth is. And he, I believe he had over 170 starters here, which is a lot. Absolutely. And if we had three or four more like that, Fort Erie would be very, very viable and uh, be in a lot better shape. But I want to thank uh, Fort Erie for this award and uh, you Ashley. Congrats again. Thank you. All right next category is outstanding trainer. This year it goes to trainer John Sims. The barn had an absolutely stellar season in 2024, winning 18 races with two days left in the meet from 66 starts. That's a 70, excuse me, 27 percent strike rate with horses hitting the board 65 percent of the time. The barn amassed over $200,000 in earnings and had three cup wins. Some of the big names in the barn, obviously Mountain Sound and Victory March, both getting awards here today, as well as Princess Buchero and four aces high. Accepting this award is Donna, who's a big part of the team. First off, congratulations to you and John. How fun has it been this year? Great. It's been a lot of fun. Team effort for sure. Um, John, unfortunately, wasn't here today. He's up in Toronto on business. So he just wanted to say, is in his opinion that any success comes from a team effort, which we have. And he wanted to thank the crew, the grooms and hot walkers, Dave, Mike, Tony, and also the jockeys, the exercise riders, and of course the owners, 
Denise and Howie, Tony and Harvey and Pat. And also, he just want to thank Dr. Crawford and his crew because they've been wonderful. Jen and Katrina, wonderful this year for us. So thank you very much. Congrats again. Thank you. Our next category today is distance male, and we will take a look at the winner, hiatus. Hiatus is extending. This is hiatus in an absolute romp. Hiatus and Michael David cruising in. The mar only matter now is the margin. It's hiatus, going to call it eight at the wire. Hiatus is a six-year-old bay gelding by silent name out of Honey Rider, bred here in Ontario by Adina Springs. Ridden to victory today by Michael David, Hiatus is trained by Jeff Boyce, who owns in partnership with Herb McGurr Jr. Fourth win in six starts this season for Hiatus, his 11th lifetime win in 38 starts. Hiatus first raced at Fort Erie in 2022, but this year he won four races. Rain or shine, turf or dirt, it did not matter. His early foot often provided to be too much for his rivals with some open length scores here. And overall ended up being four for seven on the year. He is owned by Herbinger Jr. and his trainer, Jeff Voice. And everyone's here to accept the award today. First off, Jeff, congratulations. You've had a very successful year with a lot of winners in the barn, but he's been a big part of that hiatus. Uh, huge. Um, a bit of a late bloomer, um, very tough to gallop in the morning. Uh, his barn nickname is the Madman. He is kind of crazy, but uh, he leaves it all on the track, gives it everything he's got, and uh, he knows how to win. Yep. And Herb, it's been fun for you, I'm sure, as an owner to have yeah. a horse like him, but he's just been so proven on any surface. He's fast from the gate. How exciting is it to watch him race here? It's phenomenal. He, just to be a part of the team voice and what they've done when I got back involved in horses uh, last year and get involved with a horse like this, it's just been it's exciting, to say the least. Congratulations to you guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Up next is Assistant Trainer of the Year. And it also goes to the Voice Barn. This, though, to Robin Voice. The success of the Voice operation has been a team effort with Jeff and Robin putting in the long hours each and every day. Overall, the Barn has won many races this season from 28 starters. And as we just saw moments ago, they were able to win at the distance male category with hiatus, that four-time winner in 2024. First off, Robin, congratulations. Every time Jeff's got a horse in, you are there, you are ready to work. And how fun has it been to kind of do this with Jeff alongside him and with these horses that you guys have? You know, it's really been a team effort. Um, you know, we put our heart and soul into these horses and it's shown, you know, hiatus. Uh, he's just been a pleasure. And we've had him for three years and we've won 10 races with him. So, you know, it doesn't get better than that. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Our next category is for male turf horse, and this year's winner is Society Joe. Society Joe on heels from third, now angles out. Three across the track with an eighth of a mile to go. Quarky looking to go gate to wire. Four aces high right there. Society Joe splitting horses. Society Joe at 40 to one with Amanda Vandermeersch wins the Puss in Boots Cup. It's Society Joe. Society Joe is a seven-year-old bay gelding by Society's chairman out of John Jack, bred here in Ontario by RMC Stable. Ridden to victory today by Amanda Vandermeer, Society Joe is owned and trained by Gary Chidobiak. Society Joe earns his sixth lifetime win today, a 40-to-1 stunner here in the Puss in Boots Cup. Well, here at Fort Erie, he's been dubbed the one-eyed wonder. Society Joe picked up his first win of the meet in just his second start since joining the barn of owner-trainer Gary Chidobiak, and that win was in the Puss in Boots Cup at a huge price. And after that, him and Amanda Vandermeers found themselves back in the winner's circle in their next outing here on the turf course. And Gary, you own him, you train him, and it was just his second start, but he was able to pull that upset in the Puss in Boots. When you watch that, how impressed are you with him? Um... He's an, he's an incredible horse, actually, um, and he's such a sweetheart, too. 
but you know what? He's all heart with that one eye and everything else. And um, thank you to Katie Morissette. Thank you to Amanda Vandermeers. They've done a great job with him, and I just uh, ran for the ride, along for the ride. That's all. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next category is for Outstanding Jockey, and this is voted on by the peers. This year's recipient of this award is Mark Lee Buchanan. He had a strike rate of 17% this year, winning 18 races with just those two days left in the meet. Some of the big horses that he rode here to multiple victories include Amazing Success and Paperback Hero, and these are outfits that generally support Buchanan in the afternoons and in the mornings. Speaking of those regular connections, Julie Mathis, Eric Raganoff here to accept this award for Mark Lee, and he's been a vital part of both of your teams. And what have you noticed from him in terms of his character and his riding abilities? Uh, he always tries with them. He lets them run their race. Um, I never really tell him anything. I just tell him to get on the horse and go be safe. That's it. How about you, Julie? Yeah, he's a hard worker in the morning, and uh, he's already done his research, looked at the forms, and he's ready to go for the afternoon. Thanks, guys. Our next category is for female turf. This year's winner is Menagerie. It's anyone's race. Who do you like in the Molson Cup? Sweet Serenade has the lead. Menagerie looking to pull off an upset. Seeds of grandeur down the far outside. Menagerie and Pietro Moran get up to win the Molson Cup. It's Menagerie. Menagerie is a five-year-old dark bear brown mare by violence out of Holy Flame. Bred here in Ontario by Hillendale Farms and Gabe Grossberg. Written to victory today by Pietro Moran. Menagerie is trained by Ken Albu for Six Brothers Stable. She's racked up a three win streak here on the Fort Erie Turf Course, her fourth lifetime win today, completing the one mile and one sixteenth over yielding ground in a time of 149 and one. Menagerie rose through the ranks this season, recording her first win at the $4,000 claiming level, but with each and every start she got better. She rattled off three consecutive victories, including an upset in the Molson Cup where she was able to win here over the yielding ground. She's owned by Six Brothers Stables, trained by Ken Albu, and Tina's here to accept the award. And Tina, you're a huge part of the Albu barn, and I know this, this filly means a lot to you. Yes, she does. i never forget the first day I seen her. I asked them not to take her way back to wood blind. I knew she would fit in our barn. I'd like to thank everybody, even Mr. DeCalucas, for leaving and entrusting her with us. He has made our year. Congratulations, Tina. Thank you. Our next category here today is Exercise Rider of the Year, and the honors go to Jamali Roberts. This year's award for Exercise Rider has been going to a staple here of the Roy Augustino Barn. And according to Roy, who I reached out to yesterday, he said that Jamali is not only dependable, but he shows up each and every time on the morning and exhibits patience with every horse that he gets on in the mornings and has aspirations to race ride in the near future. First off, Jamali, congratulations. And Roy told me, is your goal maybe next year to race ride a little bit? Yes, I'm hopefully be riding for a lot more trainers. I'm meeting a lot more people and making good friendship. Congratulations on your award. Thank you very much. Our next category here is for groom of the year. And the winner is Victoria Bardsley. Victoria Bardsley spent her second season grooming for trainer Josh Robillard, working alongside the likes of Miss Suedu, Redoubt's Light, as well as their stable pony, Moon. <laughs> First off, congratulations, Victoria. Thank you, Ashley. And speaking of, kind of, this year was your second year with Josh, but I know during the winter you've done some homework and we're trying to learn the ropes from other people, and how rewarding is it to now get this award? After, this is my 10th season at the track, so being able to learn from other people who took the time to teach me was amazing, and I think ultimately it finally paid off. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, our next category is Female Claimer of the Year. We'll take a look here at a video of the winner, Chrome's Big Break. 
at the head of the lane. It is Chrome's big break. In second, it's Frerit trying to diminish the margin. Up the inside is Snell Flick and a wildest treasure. Chrome's big break still up by two. Frerit trying down the outside. Chrome's big break is holding. It's Chrome's big break and Pietro Moran. Frerit is coming. Here's a wildest treasure down to the wire. Chrome's big break. Chrome's big break holds on. Chrome's big break just holds over Frerit. It is Chrome's big break. This long shot looking for her sixth win of the season. Loaded question down the outside. Demorley still there in second. Room up the fence for Snell Flick. A big ginger trying to rally, but Chrome's big break is still on top. Chrome's big break by two and a half. Demorley trying. A gal for TJ late, but Chrome's big break, her sixth win of the year. Chrome's big break and Alexis Sanchez. Chrome's Big Break is a four-year-old chestnut filly by California Chrome out of Big Break. Bred in California by Richard Barton Enterprises, Perry and Denise Martin. Ridden to victory today by Alexis Sanchez. Chrome's Big Break is owned and trained by Pierre Crete. She is now six for 12 this year here at Fort Erie Racetrack. She completed the five furlongs in a time of 58 and four. And she will likely be the winningest horse of the season here at the Border Oval. On June 4th, in just her second start here at Fort Erie, she was claimed for $4,000 by her owner and trainer, Pierre Crete. And in that start, she picked up her second win. She went on to win four more races here at Fort Erie and certainly pr pr proved to be very tough on the front end. So I have to ask, when we go back to June 4th, $4,000, mm -hmm. did you know she was going to be this good? No, 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 it was great. She turned out to be a really good filly. My, my good friend told me, uh, I came here this spring and said, I need a horse. And he said, Pierre, if you don't think to claim this one, I will. So, Mark, Mark, I'm all the soon. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, good filly, nice horse. And we're going to keep you up here, Pierre, because she's got a couple more awards for her as well. Not only is she female claimer of the year, she was voted best claim of the year. We mentioned that she was claimed for $4,000, and after she broke her maiden, she would win that race. But uh, her most recent win came not too long ago on October 14th over a sloppy main track at a huge price of 16 to 1. And she also takes home the 2024 honors of Horse of the Year. Just based on her pedigree, so everyone knows, she's a four-year-old daughter of California Chrome. And she did something that no other horse did in 2024. She was able to rattle off those six victories, both on turf and dirt. And she's the first horse since 2018 to win six races in a season. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah, a Crow me. <laughs> All right, my girl, Crow me. <laughs> Congratulations, and I expect we'll see you guys back here next year. Of course, of course. I was going to have a good winner. Don't worry. <laughs> Great. All right, and we can move on to as well as to leading rider. So Chrome's Big Break took home those three awards, female claimer of the year, best claim of the year, and horse of the year. And I think they're going to get you a photo with this one too. So much hardware for you, Pierre. <laughs> Looks all good. Very nice. Wow, awesome. <laughs> this is a nice one. Thank you. <laughs> There's the big one. Congratulations. Wow, this is all right. Romy, I love you. Good girl. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Very awesome. And just so everyone knows, Pierre's won the horse is Chrome's Big Break. So nice to see her sweep those three categories there. So we'll move on to leading rider. And this year, those honors go to Edgar Zenteno. Edgar was able to win his, or I should say his first race was in 2019, but his first wins here came on opening day when he rattled off three wins this year in 2024. And in terms of what he went on to do after that, two cup wins here and 36 winners in total so far with those two days left. That strike rate was 21%. He was in the money 52% of the time in road in 174 races. And some of the horses that Edgar rode were honored today here in the form of Mountain Sound and Victory March. First off, Edgar, congratulations on the wins this season. Obviously, it was fun. You got a couple cup wins, but what has it been like to have the support from so many different outfits here? Oh, well, I'm just, I just want to start thinking to my agent that she always support me. She's one of the reasons that I'm here, and she's been, like, cheering me up, like, telling me my mistakes and my right things that I've been doing. Uh, I'm going to start with her, and then 
I'm just gonna thank to all the trainers, owners that have been supporting me. Without them, I wouldn't be here. I wanna start with Sam Melly, Nick Melini, John Sims, Jeff Boyce, Josh Rubelard, uh, Kevin Boregay, I'm gonna, um, uh, Sylvain, Krista. I have uh, many trainers that I won this year. I mean, I've been, I might uh, probably missing somebody, but just thank you all. Without all of you, I wouldn't be here. I just want to thank to my family that even that they're far away, they're probably very proud of me and my second family too that always support me. I'm just like, I feel like I'm dreaming. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. And that was Edgar's first season here at Fort Erie in 2024. So off to a great start. Hope to see him back next year in 2025. Leading trainer category up next in... Uh, this winner has won this award several times now in a row. It goes to Julie Mathis. She captures her fifth straight training title here with 27 wins so far going into those last two days. Amassed over $361,000 in purse earnings. She won the long run at Thoroughbred Aftercare Stakes with Can't Beat the Cats, who's since then gone on to a new career. And looking at some others in here, the biggest victory so far in here at Fort Erie this year was in the $100,000 Rondo Bay Stakes, scored the upset with Frackamore, a horse that they had claimed earlier in the season up at Woodbine. Julie, congratulations on another title here for training. This year had a lot of victories here, and we mentioned Frackamore, maybe the biggest of them all, but I know everyone means a lot to you. Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, obviously, the Rondo Bay was um, pretty exciting for myself and my team and family. And Bruno's a big supporter of yours as well, and you have other outfits that also support the barn, but no, it's a team effort as well. Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, if I didn't have a good team behind me, it wouldn't happen, that's for sure. Congrats. Thank you. All right. And we heard Tony Guido talk about Bruno Schickendans and his support. He does take the 2024 honors here for leading owner. It's his fourth straight title. He's picked up 26 wins this year. He is the owner of Frackamore, Can't Beat the Cats, and also amazing success that we mentioned earlier was male claimer of the year. And his silks were certainly well represented, the red and white in the winner's circle throughout the season. And both Julie Mathis and Eric Raganoff here. Uh, Frito has supported both of you, in the case of you, Eric, a lot this year, right? Getting kind of your, your stable built and Julie for, for many years now. But he seems like he obviously loves this game and wants to support it on all facets. And it's reflected in the number of starters he has here at Fort Erie. Oh, absolutely. And he loves supporting Fort Erie. Congrats to him and congrats to you guys. Thank you. All right, that's going to conclude our awards presentation here for 2024. The HBPA of Ontario and Fort Erie Racetrack would like to congratulate this year's recipients and all the horsemen on the backside. Your love for our equine athletes is on display each and every single day. We wish you all the best of luck on these final two days of racing on Monday and Tuesday, and we look forward to seeing you all back at the track next year. <laughs>